Welcome back to Clark Star Culinary. Today we're making a delicious New England clam chowder. I have a dozen clams here, and we're gonna start by getting these steamed. I've already cleaned them. To clean the clams, I use this brush here. I got this specifically to clean clams with, and I just take it under running water and just scrub it really vigorously just to get any sand particles off of the shell. And now we're gonna go ahead and get these steamed. All right, in a large pot, I'm going to pour in two cups of water and put the clams in. And now we're gonna go take this over to the stove and let it boil until the clams open. We're gonna peel and dice six white potatoes and they're about medium size. I'll just get these peeled. We've got our potatoes peeled and now we're just gonna take and cube them up and I've shown you all this before. You take a damp cloth and put your potato on there so it doesn't roll around as you cut it. And we're gonna go ahead and take this and we want some rather large cubes. I guess you could think potato salad. Yeah, about that size. So let's get this cubed up. You want some nice size diced pieces. The potatoes are nicely cubed and we're going to rinse them off and then put them over into a pot to boil for 15 to 20 minutes. The clams are done. I've removed them from the water, which we are gonna reserve that for our clam chowder as well. And I'm gonna sit these in the refrigerator so that they can cool and we'll be able to handle the meat. Let's crisp some bacon for our chowder. I'm just gonna take the kitchen shears and cut that up really nicely. We just need to cook this on the stove until the fat renders off and the bacon is nice and crispy. We'll need to sweat some vegetables. We'll need one carrot diced, two ribs of celery diced, one medium sized onion diced, and one clove of garlic minced. The potatoes are done, and now we're gonna drain them and rinse them off. I wanna use a little bit of this liquid that we boiled the clams in. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit off the top because there is a little debris at the bottom, and I have a fine sieve, but you don't wanna pour all the way to the bottom because there's a little sand in there, and we don't want that in the soup. So I think this is about safe here. And I've got two cups of liquid we're gonna clean out the clam. And I found that taking a spoon and just running it up under the clam will release them perfectly from the shell. And we just need to remove basically their last meal. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut in there, open that up. And I'm gonna take it over to the sink and rinse it out. And this is the goo that we're getting rid of here. Go on to the sink. All right, it is all clean. We've removed his last meal. Okay, we're just gonna go and just cut this up with some kitchen shears. And you can cut this up as large or small as you want. So that's one down and 11 to go. We ended up with about one cup of chopped clam meat. I'm gonna sweat the vegetables and I'm gonna use about, well, maybe two tablespoons of avocado oil here and add in our carrots, celery, and onion. Go ahead and add in this one clove of mixed garlic as well. I'm probably going to give this about three to five minutes. Smells like Thanksgiving. All right, it's been five minutes. And we're going to start putting 
the New England clam chowder together. We've got some more things to do. This recipe has a lot of moving pieces. Not my typical recipe, but we're going for it. So remember the bacon. We're gonna dip the bacon and put it in here with our vegetables. Just the bacon, leave the oil. Let's get this a stir here. And I hope you all didn't forget the potatoes. Let's add those in. Alright, we're going to move this pot off the eye. And now we're going to work with this pan here that we cooked our bacon. And it's got about a half a tablespoon of oil in here. So if you have more oil, just go ahead and pour a little bit off because you don't want this to be too oily. Alright, so I'm going to put this on a medium high and get this up to temperature. Because we're going to use this to make our base for our New England clam chowder. And this is just starting to get warm and I've got three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So we're going to go ahead and pour that in and mix that into this oil. And this is going to thicken the chowder really well. So now we're going to start deglazing this pan. First I'm going to pour in a fourth cup of white wine, a strong white wine. And then I also have the broth from our clams here. So we want to pour that in as well. And let's just mix this up. Our sauce is beginning to thicken up a good deal. We're going to go ahead and do some seasonings. I have half a tablespoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of herbs de province, and a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. All right, this sauce is starting to thicken really good. And at this point, we're going to take a little taste of it and add salt as needed. Which it should be plenty salty if you do use the liquid from the clams and the bacon. All right, we're going to take this sauce and pour it into our pot. All right, let's give that a stir. Let's add our clam. Let's add one cup of heavy cream. And two cups of half and half. All right, let's give this a stir. Looks really good, smells even better. I have my heat temperature set on low and I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes so all the flavors can marry and then we'll be ready to serve. The New England clam chowder is done. Make sure that you garnish with a little parsley. Thank you all so much for watching this recipe video. Please be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification icon so that you can be notified of our next video upload. Until next time, bye-bye.